new at five, Lake Powell is now at the lowest level it's been at since the lake started filling back in the 60s. And the dam is getting dangerously close to not being able to produce electricity, which would impact more than 5 million people across the West. Water officials say that lake levels dropped faster than they planned, and now they're trying to raise the water level and hope that the 22-year drought eases up. Team 12's William Pitts explains. Lake Powell at the Utah-Arizona border has been here for 60 years, ever since Glen Canyon Dam went up and the power turbines started spinning. But now the water at the lake is dangerously low. It's dropped 50 feet in the last year. Another 65 feet and the dam won't be able to generate power at all. We're very concerned about this. We have 130 power customers in seven states that take power from Glen Canyon Dam. 130 power companies serving 5 million people across the West. The Western Area Power Administration sells Glen Canyon's power all over, including companies like SRP. But their main customers are rural and Native American tribes. There's some good news. Glen Canyon's not the only hydroelectric dam in the system. We can borrow on other dams, such as Flaming Gorge or Blue Mesa, to make up for some of the shortfalls in Glen Canyon Dam. But that's basically using one credit card to pay off another. The problem is water. There isn't enough of it. And even with the turbines going, they're not generating as much power as they could. There's less pressure forcing the water through the turbines at Glen Canyon, which means less efficient power production. Arizona and the western states have been planning for this. Arizona cut its water use, but it wasn't fast enough. We had hoped that would buy us time, but things occurred more rapidly than we had hoped, largely because this last winter we saw 30 percent of the normal water in the Colorado River. To try and help, the Bureau of Reclamation is releasing water from three reservoirs to try and raise the lake level, but it'll take until December, and it will only be three feet. Not much breathing room for a dam that's getting closer to shutting down. William Pitts, 12 News.